you know, years back when we were voted you know, preseason for whatever that means uh, to, to win the conference, it was you, know, you felt a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, fortunately, we've won seven of ten championships. Our guys are used to this position right now. I think last year on paper we should have been the number one team. I think this year you could have been five or six teams to win the conference and, and made an argument for each one of them. So our guys understand that. They understand that we've lost a great senior class, but I think they've, they've taken that challenge through the spring and into preseason that they want to write their own history right now. So uh, really what happened last year and what's, what's been talked about in the preseason has had very little effect on our football team. Our guys are working extremely hard and, and we feel good going into the season right now. Preseason practice is really going great. We're staying strong, staying fast, and uh, that's what everyone likes to see. You know, everyone likes to um, be competitive, competing for spots, and everything like that. So it's um, it's definitely you know a way to mold everyone together, get comfortable with each other. It's it's great motivation to be the conference champs for three years in a row now. Uh, just going into every practice, knowing that you got to give it your all because every week the team that you're playing is going to play their best game against you because they're everyone's gearing up to be be the top team and that's where we've been the past three years. So uh, it's, it's good motivation going to every practice, knowing that we need to do our best, and that if we have one bad game, uh, all our dreams for a uh, conference championship could be dashed up with it. Way to spin it, Robbie. With the loss of Hewitt and you know having Robbie this year, I think one plus side, is with Robbie is that you know he's he's been exposed to big games, uh, Muhlenberg especially, and uh, difference. Uh, Robbie, Robbie's a little more nimble. You know he could he could move around a little bit more than uh, Hewitt, and uh, you know he's he's hungry. You know he's hungry. He's a competitor, same as Hewitt. Um, so looking forward to having Robbie this season. Dan Wadica could be an elite player in Division Three. He's had a, a you know, great first two years here, and I think he's ready in his own mind for a breakout season. Maybe people thought that it might have been last year, but, uh, but we feel that his best days are ahead of him. He's had a very good camp so far, and uh, we're looking forward to see what he can do next week. Jonathan, uh, he, I'm, I'm expecting him to have a big year. Uh, he, he's worked so hard this offseason, uh, and even last year he had a great year, but this year uh, it's, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. He's been practicing great, playing great. Uh, he, he helps Robbie out a lot, helps the receivers out a lot by uh, b breaking open the holes so everyone condenses in and we can get some big plays on the outside. So uh, we're always helping each other out, and yeah, I hope he has a great year. You know, with, with the losses that we have, uh, it's you know, it's like something that you know you got to regroup and you know quickly assemble and get together. I think the main thing with the offensive line is just um, getting comfortable with each other, and you know, that same thing with me getting comfortable with them. Uh, with Armand Jennifer, I mean, he's he's a stud. I mean, uh, it's, it's it's nice having someone like that, run, you know, running behind. So it's exciting, and uh, you know, I'm only hoping for big things for him and for our offense moving forward. As a whole, offensively, we, we took some hits and there's some questions. Uh, defensively, we maybe took bigger hits in a sense, but we play a lot of guys on defense, and we're more comfortable in a sense with the number of guys we have coming back with playing experience that, that know how we play football. Uh, we've built Hopkins football on defense over the years, and that hasn't changed at all. Even with the success of our offense, uh, we are still focused on our defense being a great defensive football team. Uh, our guys know what to do. They've had a great preseason so far. Uh, we do have leaders like Keller Machow, Adam Schwer, uh, PJ Caulfield, we've got some great seniors in there doing a, a super job right now leading our team and we've got some, some pretty good young talent. So we're excited about the crew coming in right now. So we've grown up together, me, PJ Swire, and then Hanny comes in last year and really molds in with us well. So it's a, you know, it's a good group of guys to have. We all you know all friends, so that really helps on the field, you know, communicate a lot better and um, really know what each other's doing at you know what at an exact time, everything like that. Yeah, Ryan Rice started as a freshman last year, so obviously we feel he's got a great deal of talent and, and produced you know, really well in his first year. Uh, John Marina is a 4.0 uh, neuroscience major, a very bright guy from St. Joe's Prep in Philly, and uh, he's fitting very well uh, filling in for Mike Milano, which is another tough thing to do. Uh, the other corner spots, uh, Alex Logues had, had a lot of playing experience for us, and he's stepped in so far and really done a great job. We also have some young guys that are pressing for time right now, so that's, that's a position we really want to see over the next 10 days. Uh, you know, who, come, who comes to the top. 
you look at the Centennial Conference over the years, anyone can win on any given day, any, any, any year. So uh, we're not looking at any one team in particular as our big rival. Obviously, we have our end of the year rivalry game with our in-state rival, uh, with Daniel College. Uh, that's always exciting. They have a new coach. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how, how they do during the season. But, uh, but really, we're going, we're going to the season looking at every conference game as being the biggest game of the year.